So I was just made aware of a situation with Congresswoman Lauren Boebert from Colorado being escorted out of a production at the Buell Theater, a production of Beetlejuice. And I wanna talk about it because it's gonna highlight something really important. I'm gonna talk about an aspect of this that I think will make sense and we could all learn from. And remember, the Therapist React series is all about talking about the psychology and the psychotherapy aspect of these news stories so that we can all learn and grow as a society together. That's why I make these videos. So once again, I'm Elliot Connie. I'm a licensed professional counselor, and I've made my career doing psychotherapy over the past nearly 20 years. And now I wanna make content that will help you as a society heal and grow and change and have the kind of society that we want. So first, let me show you what happened. Ushers at Denver's Buell Theater had to escort Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert out of a perform performance of Beetlejuice this weekend after getting complaints about vaping, taking pictures and causing a disturbance. We just got a hold of the video from inside the theater Sunday night. An incident report detailed it and city sources confirmed to Nine News that Boebert and the person she was with were the subject of complaints. Audience members said the two were vaping and singing and when asked to leave got argumentative. Bobert appeared to take a selfie as she was escorted out. Bobert's congressional office did not reply to multiple emails about what happened, though the congresswoman alluded to what happened on Twitter saying she pled guilty to laughing and singing too loud. The part of this story that I want to talk about is uh, what they didn't say there was she was reportedly heard saying, do you know who I am? Do I know, do you know who I am? And I wanna talk about entitlements. If you've ever been to a production, like a Broadway production, and that wasn't on Broadway, but you know what I mean, like a theater production. I've been to Broadway twice. I saw Wicked and I saw MJ. And the rules are very clear. The rules are very clear and everybody has to follow them. No phones. They make announcements over the intercom about no phones, no phones, no phones. I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but both Broadway shows I went to, you, your phone didn't even work in the theater. Like your data couldn't get a signal in the theater. Like they really are serious about this, no phones. And then also you're, you're stacked and packed in with lots of other people. Like it's not just you watching this, this production. You have to be mindful of the people around you, that your behavior and your conduct impacts other people. So for example, when she said, you know, I'm guilty of laughing and singing too loudly, these are not sing-along events. I didn't pay money to come and listen to you sing if I happen to be sitting within the vicinity of where you are. I came to listen to the people on the stage sing and perform. That, that's, that's what it's about. And then the reports where she was vaping, like all of these things impact the people around us. And I, and I think we have to do a better job of being good citizens, of being good neighbors, of being good to the people around us and being more socially aware. And I also think we have to be aware of our own entitlements and we all have them. I don't mean to say that entitled people are bad and wrong. We all have them. They come along with whatever jobs we may or may not have. It's just part of part of life. But when you have a job as a congressman, I think you have to be extra mindful of it because some of those entitlements make you think the laws and or rules do not apply to you. So here she is in an environment where the rules are very clear, very stated, and um, she is still gonna misbehave and say things like, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? On some level, it shouldn't matter who you are. The people around you are still, they still deserve respect. They still deserve kindness. They still deserve to be thought of and for you to be aware of them. You vaping, laughing, and singing are not only the clear violations of the rules, but we shouldn't even have to think about that. There are also things that impact my ability to enjoy the show. There are also things that impact my ability to have fun and take in the show. So even by your own admittance on your Twitter page, when you said, I am guilty of laughing too loudly and singing too loudly, that's kind of the point. And when you walk out and you take selfies and you say things like, do you know who I am? Like sit on this board and I'm this Congresswoman. I think those things are exactly the type of behaviors that we need to fight against. I do not know Laura Bobert. She can have whatever political affiliation that she wants. I still think it's very important 
that we live in a society where we, we are aware of our neighbors and we do, do not conduct ourselves in ways that have a drastic and negative impact on the people around us. I will also tell you from my time at, at these Broadway shows, like it must have been very extreme for them to remove her from the audience because that's not the first or immediate step. That's not the first thing they did to quelch this behavior. It's very common that these behaviors happen. They, they make an announcement over the intercom when they see somebody's phone, they don't just immediately escort them out. So this is, you know, we have to be careful of entitlement. We have to watch it in the people around us and we have to watch it coming from ourselves. We all have them. There's nobody here that does not have entitlements, but we have to fight against them and make sure that we are not behaving in such ways that impact people around us in negative ways. I think it's very simple, but that's that's what I think we need to do to have a better, stronger, more wonderful society. So I'd love to hear what you thought. Please leave a comment below and let's discuss. Uh, I wanna hear what you thought about this story and this video. Love you guys for watching. Please continue to support this channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. It means the world to me when you guys do that. And hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we release a video, which is every single day, Monday through Friday. So thanks for being here. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you in the next video.